Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode where today I'm going to be attacking Scotland and probably not talking very much because I'm going to be trying to just fight this battle with all I have. Okay, we're going to have to go up to Grenadier, go attack these guys because that's a little bit too big of an army for us. Ah, as I, as I see, they're already built up about 5k. You know, I'm going to go after you. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Make it there, come on, come on. Make it there, make it there, make it there, make it. Yes! Oh, yeah. Okay. Even with them building massive amounts of men in their, in their places, I'm killing them. Okay. Okay. I I'm... I'm starting to calm down a little bit, but not very much because I still know there's, there's a British there's a British army somewhere around here. Because I know I wasn't I wasn't just imagining things. They had a British okay countries. At least they're not they're not on the top anymore. But there is a British army somewhere out there, or well, English army that's somewhere out there, and it's very powerful and it could potentially wipe us out. Armies, the manpower is insane. Okay, all right. You have to just keep attacking. Oh wow, you guys are idiots. Alright, just keep attacking. Ooh. So, by what we know, this is the entirety of the British fleet, or the British army. So, we're going to assume that this is the entirety of it, and basically take what we need to take out of this war, which is a lot. <laughs> Let's take that claim. Oakley, rival of our rival. Yeah. So, yeah, we're there. We're definitely using this army tradition to our advantage. Just saying. 4.1. Um. Yeah. Just destroyed that troop. Um. The British shouldn't have much more. I mean, we've killed like a couple hundred of their men. Newly spawned, may I add. England. They have 18k manpower. So they could still raise an army to come and kill us. That's why I'm going to keep killing all these like new troops that, that are made. Alright, and we're basically just going to hound in and look for any type of... With this army right here, we're just basically going to hound in and kill any type of troops we see built. If I see one troop built, we go kill them. We don't even allow them a, a chance to get there. Alright, you guys move over here to, to Exix. Go start sieging that up. And, yeah, you guys just go kill them. Let's see. England... Still has a lot of manpower, but we have to keep this down. We have to keep this down at all costs. Okay. Now we move very fast. There we go. But we move faster. And let's see. How many loans have I taken out? Ooh. Okay. Um. How many more loans do I have available to me? Do I have available to me? Could you show which are loans? Because I could. I'm not sure. Uh, you can have up to 144 loans. Okay. So I'm about halfway there between me and my loan limit. But I'm taking about four loans each time, so that's not good. Um. Come on, siege, siege down the castles. Seize down the castles. Good job. We got Cumbria. Okay. Um, go destroy these guys. Alright. There we 
go. Right. Okay. All right. Yep. This is this little some more. Yeah, but this. If anything, okay. So basically, at this point, guys, I basically defeated a majority of the enemy's forces. The only thing that could stop me now is my loan limit, which, as it says, I can take 133 loans. I'm up to 80. I'm hoping that some of these castles will break before I have to disband all my troops. Uh, and let's see. 83. Come on, break more, break. Break, guys, break. Come on. Okay, there's the other army. Let's send our men to go kill it. Hardy seamen. Yay. There we go. Let's keep it killed. Keep them down. Isn't our army grand? Oh, that should help us just a little bit. 137. Whoo. Worrying, worrying, worrying. Come on, break, break, break. Finally over. Good. Okay. You guys move up to Cornell. Okay. I'm basically waiting for the majority of these guys to finish their sieges. I don't think I'm going to do a second squadron of sieges. Um, but I think I could probably get one more siege of most of these done. And then keep the British at bay from there. Uh, yeah, I know. I know bankruptcy is looming. I'm watching it like a hawk. Don't don't worry, guys. I'm watching this like a hawk. Okay. Um, in fact... Oh, wait. That's actual men. <laughs> um... Destroy the one, the one guy. Make our expenses slightly less. Raise wartime taxes. Slightly pay for all this. Um. Yeah. There we go. London's dead. All these are actual troops. And this is an actual troop. Select army. All right. Let's just defeat these guys. Just start killing off these guys. Okay, go over here, group up. These guys are dead. Group up with these guys. Um, yeah, we just have to keep... <sighs> okay. See, we don't want them to finish and die. Um, I think what I'm going to do is create another army over here. And then what we're going to use to do is use that to go kill off the, uh... Okay, we're taking a little bit less loans. That's good. We have to, sl we have to slow down our loans. Our loan consumption. I'm going to seize down this as quickly as possible. Um, then I'm going to go after that 1k stack that's right there. It's trying to build an army. There we go, Yorkshire. And move down. Actually, just destroy all these guys. That way we have a little bit less loans. Slowing down the rate of our loan consumption. Slowly but surely, we're slowing it down. Um, and as I thought, Molster and Lannister became a very big target of Portugal, which is exactly what I needed to happen. Okay. I'm so happy that happened, because that's exactly what I needed to happen. Exodus is now sieged up. This is all regular troops. That's good. I feel like, huh, I feel like most of the actual, like, um, scoop up, scoop up, this is the last, I think that's the last mercenary company, once they're gone, I believe, mercenaries, yeah, over our force limits, once we get under our force limit again, I believe we're gonna have an easier time of maintaining a lot of stuff, which is soon, it's gonna be soon here. You just have to siege up the right. Demand old privileges. Sure. Why not? This is the perfect time to be demanding stuff. When I'm at war and trying to save our, our butts from dying. Okay. I think we've stopped the loans at a good enough pace to the point where I believe once we start up again. Oh, I'm going to have to do this. I need to start making a little bit more money. Um... Once we start this up again, all right, these are all regular troops. No more mercenaries, right? Yes. Okay. Well, basically, when I start this up again, 
whenever I do. I think I made 20 regular soldiers though, now that I'm thinking about it. But when I start this up, oh shoot, they're building up soldiers, building up soldiers, come on. Siege down at castle, siege down at castle. Alright, I'm gonna get, like I said, I'm gonna get the top four provinces and then I'm gonna quit. Because then if I get the top four provinces, I can instantly win most wars against the British. Okay, I'm going to divide this army into halves. Wait, wait. Go back in together. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait, no. No, you guys stay. You guys stay. Ha. Huh. You know what? Everyone just go right here. Okay. Now, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to detach some mercenaries. Detach them. Okay. And what we're going to do with this army right here, select your army, divide into halves, and delete about half of the army. Why'd I delete half the army? Because now we're starting to be positive! Huzzah! We're not that over that force limit anymore, basically. And that means we can finally just deal with most of the problems. I'll have two armies basically sieging up in the back, while one army basically goes in and destroys whatever, you know, new army men are created to try to topple like right here they're building an army I can already tell all right now they're building one in Lincoln okay um I could do no I could do I didn't even think of this before all right whoops 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 okay seems like seems like they grouped up a good amount good amount of troops so let's go do that Go have... Did... Uh, no! Cromwell didn't die, did he? He didn't die. Oh, good, he didn't die. <laughs> I was like... I was worried there for a second. I was like... No! Don't tell me our great general just died! Okay. And let's see. Five. I don't know where our great general is, but... I'm gonna go have him make sure that the British are cut off right here. There we go. Go destroy these guys. Ooh. There we go. And basically, those two men are going to siege up all the provinces. And I'm just basically going to keep the rest of the men back. Uh, in terms of peace treaties... Like I said, I want this, 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 this. And Cromwell when it's allowed to me. Once I get all that, then I basically feel like we have conquered all we need to. So... Actually, what we should be doing is actually helping siege down that. So we can help get this all done. Because I'm pretty sure the British will accept anything we give them at this point. Yeah, the British are like, Oh no, we can't be in this war anymore. You guys are more. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, go. Go. Before they group up major. Okay. We'll destroy these guys. Yes, 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 yes. Destroy these guys as much as possible. Do not let them. Do not let them gain the manpower back. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> the British nearly. They got me worried there for a second. They they almost created an entirely new army that I got almost killed for. Let's see. You guys die over here. Yes. Kill them all. And they are dead. And yes, you guys are providing a good distraction. I don't really care about that. Okay. I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep, like, a good army right here next to Wessex. Because I don't want that many men grouping up again. Because that was way too many. That was way too many. That could have ended our career right there. Alright, there we go. Go to Lincoln. Have them stop grouping up there. And, yeah, I think I basically got my troops in the right position. There we go. Go right here next to Guinevere. And let's see, we need that final province. Give me all the money and moolah you can give me. And if that is what you want to do, are we perfectly fine with this arrangement? Mm hmm? Um, you're also going to... Can I get you to release? <laughs> I can release whales. Uh, maybe another time, another time. Um... Actually, I probably could get him to release Cromwell if I were to, um, seriously fight this, but 
How much is Cromwell? It's only four. It's eh. It's kind of more of a meh power. So it wouldn't really be like insanely useful to us. So nah, I'm not going to free them. So just take the money, take what we need, and go. And boom, everyone. <laughs> the first war that we fought with England and we beat them. And with that, we conquered four new territories that basically gives us the equivalency of them. Of the, uh, yeah, overextensions high, I already know. But it basically gives us the equivalency of the English power. Because now we have, we can now raise a force limit of 17. And the total force limit of the British now has been drastically reduced. Which means their force limit is still 27. Shoot. But, at least we can at least fight them a little bit evenly. Yorkshire. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, instantly. Everyone, harsh treatment. Harsh treatment. I do want these to all be maintained cores. Let's go crush these rebels with our bigger army. Alright. Alright. Harsh treatment. Let's see. And harsh treatment. Okay, and now here comes the really hard part, people, is trying to survive this game when you have loans and loans and loans with massive amounts of overextension. This is going to be truly, I'm just going to get to this guy right here. This is going to be truly a test of will right here. Will I be able to do it? I, I really don't know. This is... Reduced overextension. I will do that. Alright, um, hey, fleet, you guys can come back out. Go get me some more money. Get me some trade. Yes, some trade would be nice. That helps with a lot of things. Trust me. Trade is good. Alright. Um. Basically, we can't move or do anything until all these provinces are, um, uh, ours. So we're basically just gonna have to wait here and do and do that because we can't do anything else. Hopefully, they won't want to rebel. In fact, I'm gonna check the chances of a rebellion right now because this would be one of those times that I actually boost up stability just to make sure that we wouldn't go into a rebellion. Um. Hmm. Okay, they might be. They might be right. Uh, they might be right. I'll, I'll give them some credit. They might be right. And let's see, 4.1, 471. Um, just extend, just extend all these loans. I I don't have the financial stability right now to pay them back. Um, yeah, but at least I beat the British. Oh, I'm in crippling debt, but I beat the British in a war and took all of Northern Yorkshire, which really does make me feel like we did a good day's work today, people. Uh, means we, we could definitely defeat the British in a couple wars. I'm not even going to take any loans out. I'm not even going to try to do anything. I'm just going to let see what happens. Bygones, be bygones. Let's see. My son is 24 years old. All right. So let's see. How good of a, how good of a, a like, king, or I should say general, is our king? He's decent. James II. Let's see how James III is. James III also has, no, Arthur Stewart. Oh shoot, I thought I was, in my mind, I thought he was James III. Cause that was, that would, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm actually, in my family I'm line, I'm actually the third James, so. I was like, cool, we actually have a James III. But it's Arthur Stewart, so. No, no James III. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed there, but. Eh, who cares? Arthur is still pretty good, just extend the loans. Quarantine. Uh, quarantine. Quarantine as quickly as possible. Lose as much power as we can, but we have to make sure we keep our power. And let's see. Just in case if our god general were to die, we have a couple decent kings, rulers, that would be able to take the hand of... <coughs> oh, excuse me, people. 
of our empire if things were to happen. Oh man. How close are we to like finishing up these cores? Oh, June and May. Okay, well, people, well, thank you guys for watching. This has been some exciting episodes here. I mean, really, we just. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.